Hi guys, how's it going? Cloak Fiend here again. Um, well, basically, it's been a, a little while and my blue liquid is no longer working very well. While it should be doing stuff like this, you know, super shiny um, gremlin, whatever you call it, I'm getting stuff like this. Like this weird salmon pink colour. Or oh, this is like my latest one here. So that's, as you can see, it's not shiny. It's it's kind of matte and um, not shiny. That's the main thing. And it annoys me. So this one, you know, this is how it should be coming out, but it doesn't, it comes out like that. So after reading some stuff, whoops, hold on. On the internet, I got myself some called activated carbon I have no idea they use it in fish tanks and stuff like that and I'm gonna have a go at cleaning this liquid otherwise it looks like I'm just gonna be buying five liters every month which isn't that expensive but it's kind of irritating anyway so um, I'm gonna kind of show you how, I've, how I do this I, I have done it one more time before <laughs> with little to no effect at all but I have another go I've put in some more brightener and stuff and didn't really seem to do anything either so uh, I don't really know how that works because no one really discusses this stuff online from what I've seen. Well, you know, if someone could show me how to keep that sustained in a perfect state permanently, as, as in theory someone told me this liquid should last you till eternity if you maintain it correctly, but seeing as soon as there's no instructions on how to maintain this liquid indefinitely, then I'm going to have to end up pouring it down the sink. Or diluting it first, then pouring it down the sink, or the toilet, or in the garden, or in someone else's garden, or whatever. But it's kind of annoying because I've got all this stuff and I don't know what to do with it. So please, if there's anyone out there who knows how to maintain this solution to stay so it produces shiny stuff, then please kind of uh, let me know. I'd be grateful. All right, so I've got some basic coffee filter papers. These are from Rum Belts or whatever the hell that is. <clears throat> you take your coffee filter okay. you don't put it in a glass like that hold on, I'm just getting my filter uh, I've got a filter, coffee filter so I can really slap down the glass move this back a bit now all I'm going to do is put this inside the top There you have it, it's just in the top. Alright, so here we go. And then I'm literally just going to take this and pour it in. And we have to uh, siphon it twice because it ends up going a bit black because the coffee filter doesn't filter all of it. But Alright, this is getting kind of full so I'm going to pour that out into another one and keep going in this one <clears throat> it's looking a bit murky this one's looking a bit murky so I'm probably going to have to filter that one again because some of the activated carbon um, goes through the filter because it's very fine um, I, I really don't know what I'm doing but I'm trying to make my own activated carbon filter, I guess. I if someone can tell me that I'm doing it wrong and give me a better way of doing it, I'd be grateful of, for obvious reasons. Just messing around, wasting my time doing this nonsense, but whatever. You live and you learn, right? So here we go. All right, that should be it for this, um, for this lot. Next, I'm going to um, use a clean uh, filter. Just run it all through again, basically, back into this one, which I'll wipe down. <coughs> now, if you've uh, try not to use like dishwasher liquids and stuff like that and soaps to clean these out. Just try to dry clean them. I just use a towel. Try and get rid of all the residue because uh, you don't want that 
mm. and contaminating your tank. Um, you're going to find pretty much everything contaminates the tank, from dust in the air to metal filings that might inadvertently go in there, to dirt that just like falls from random places, splashes of water from here and there and all sorts. So try and be careful and keep it as clean as you can. I mean, just water and stuff should be fine, I think. But again, I think we're meant to be using deionized water, which I don't have any of, conveniently enough, as I never seem to do. Clean. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm sure I can uh, squeeze this like mess of charcoal, which I, sh I shouldn't probably be handling myself with my hands, but whatever. Done is done. So this is the kind of mess you end up with. Don't know what to do with it. Don't know if I have been doing it correctly. Anyway, I shouldn't be holding it in my hand. It's starting to burn my hand <coughs> into the bin. Into the bin it goes. I wash my hands because they're stinging. All right. This goes into the mix. All right, now because I've been touching this stuff a lot, I got these. I got like blackened fingers. Can't really do anything about it. And I'm going to be meeting a girl later, so that's not going to be too impressive. I might have to put some sandpaper or wipe my hands on the a doormat for a while, which is quite cool for getting rid of grime on your fingers and the fingernails. Um. So I've got like black rings around on my fingernails now. So yeah, try not to touch the this blue chemical stuff or anything with acid in it for your own safety, I guess. Anyway, enough with the carbon filter nonsense. We're just going to do straight. Um, I, should, I guess I should clean this mug out now. <clears throat> All right, it's pretty much done. There's not much like in there anymore. There's like, I don't know, it's up to about there. This is the dirty one, by the way, as you can see with all the black carbon particles that have been caught. And this is the other one. This is our newly cleaned solution. Right, I'm going to go to the pharmacy and buy some deionized water. And uh, try and top this up to the 2 meter li line because I know this should be 2 litres because I keep on pouring it into 2 litre containers to store it in. So I've lost about, I think, 250 mil or something like that. Um, yeah, alright, well, uh, I'll get some deionized water. I don't think I can today, it's Sunday. And I'll finish this tutorial off or this kind of how I do things or experiment. Alright, see you later, bye.